Welcome to the week four big dick player episode here on That's Good Sports. I am Brandon Perna, the little dick player who awards the big dick player award. I reward the Broncos best player from the game with the best award on earth. Better than an Emmy, better than an Oscar, and better than the guts medals awarded after conquering the aggro crag. This week's nominees for the Big Dick Player Award include Akeeb Talib, Derek Wolf, Emmanuel Sanders, and Paxton Lynch. I should consider the Tampa Bay Lightning, no, not the hockey team, the actual lightning that caused the weather delay, but to be honest, I don't respect weather. I don't respect it one bit. Are, are you desperate to know who the winner is? Well, let's start with the fourth runner-up this week, and it's Emmanuel Sanders, who had eight catches for 88 yards and a touchdown. But he was truly considered for the Big Dick Player Award because of his masterful cartwheel and perfect landing. Oh yeah, he stuck it. Next week, if he does a flick flack, a Gaylord, a Kip, a Salto, or finds a way to incorporate the Yurchenko Vault uh, all real gymnastic terms, by the way. Be gymnastics. Be gymnastics. Be gymnastics. He will win the Big Dick Player Award. I have to give the Iron Cock Award to Demarius Thomas for battling through that hip injury all game long. He aggravated it on his second catch and still managed to reel in six catches for 94 yards and a touchdown. Great performance from DT. Now, Derek Wolf was very, and I mean very close to receiving the award this week. He had two and a half sacks during the game, six tackles, and was very disruptive on that line. He held to the moon twice, but he wasn't the most dominant player on the team. Many of you have stated to me that you think the Big Dick Player Award should go to Paxton Lynch, and I agree he played well. Anytime the backup steps into the game, you have to wonder if the team will crumble. They did not. Lynch showed he can make all the throws and is dangerous as a runner, avoiding defensive pressure. He's fun to watch when he moves, and he's definitely not scared to sling the fucking rock all over the field. However, the Big Dick Player Award goes to the guy who had the biggest impact on the game. And Lynch would have had to come in against Tampa and just take over the game to win this imaginary trophy. That's why this week's Big Dick Player Award goes to Akib Talib. They got talib I think a lot of people got talib Talib is not on Twitter. So just tweet the rest of the no-fly zone asking them to show Talib that he won the Big Dick Player Award this week. I think he'd want to know. Akeem had two interceptions in the first half, and both those picks led to Broncos' touchdown. So, Tlaib should really be credited with helping the Broncos score 14 points. They only needed to score eight to win that game, but the offense was not playing extremely well early, and without Tlaib's interceptions and excellent field position, as a result, I don't know if Denver would have clinched this game so early. Tlaib also had a great tackle on running back Charles Sims, while Tlaib was being pushed in the back by a Tampa Bay blocker. Sims was banged up on that play and remained ineffective for the remainder of the game. So, you know, you gotta notice the little things these guys do, and that's my promise every week. Thanks for watching the Big Dick Player episode. The full review is on That's Good Broncos. It's its second channel. You gotta go there. There is a link in the description to the full review. Gary Kubiak also currently believes Trevor Simeon will be healthy enough to play this weekend against the Falcons. And I personally think that's great news. Thanks for enjoying the Big Dick Player episode. Give me a follow on Twitter too while you're at it. At Brandon Perna on Twitter. Subscribe here. All of your Denver sports news can be found at bsndenver.com. And of course, my friends at the Mile High Report are always supporting That's Good Broncos. So you should support them.